So you can lock, you can lock and unlock it. Well, like Ray and Dwayne are truly, they're a, they're a great pair. You know what I mean? It's great to have guys that, because they've been in other bands together and they've known each other for dec decades now. So um, they're, it's great. It, like, put it like this. It's great. The rhythm section is the foundation of any band. And to know that those guys are, um, you know, on almost, they're working on the level of, you know, they, they, they know each other's tendencies. You know, there's a telepathic, I wouldn't go that far, that's, you know, making it, uh, you know, it's not the X-Files. <laughs> like, uh, like those, uh, un you know, those Unsolved Mysteries uh, uh, episode where, like, the guy, like, uh, has two heads and he's riding the bike. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, like, honestly, like, they think alike, they think the same way and they hang out so much that, like, they're, they're just bros, right? Like, they're, 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 they're blood brothers. <laughs> I mean, we, we sit around at rehearsal at times, or Ray and I used to actually, uh, we'd sit around at rehearsal and we'd run through songs twice as fast as they actually are, just for, just for fun, you know what I mean? Just to see, because if you could, if you could remember it and you could play it that fast, you could do it, right? You had no problem. So <laughs> that used to be just a regular, a regular practice routine, right? Like it, they just, you know, they, they know each other's tendencies. They have such a familiarity they, they and they have a trust. So. They uh, they speak amongst themselves when it comes to what they're how they're creating the foundation upon which Al and I work, and so they it's great to have that kind of trust. Like I, I they trust each other, and I trust that they got it covered. When we went into the studio, I just came in to kind of hang out and just kind of you know just see what the end result of the bass of the drums was going to be there. You know, we we're gonna get drum tracks down, and then Ray just brings his bass, and he gets into the room too, and they mic up the bass, and they isolate it between the drums and the bass. And they're standing in the room together, and they just, the two of them just, you know, doubled up and, and went at it, and, and they nailed it. They nailed it, man. Just fucking nailed it. So, he was so tight. I think this right hand and Dwayne's right foot have been in sync since about 1996, I believe. This is our fourth project together. I mean, we've had some breaks in between, but um, this is our fourth band together. We've spent thousands of hours either rehearsing, recording, hanging out, uh, traveling, you know, doing doing the band thing and doing the friend thing. He's a brother to me. He's definitely a brother to me. Little brother? I don't know. Yeah, I raised my rhythmic brother. Well, it's been about 25 years or so, and uh, on and off through that time. And of course, you know, music changes and, and uh, influences and styles change and things like that. Uh, there's just something about the way Ray plays that's just an innate thing that he, the way he plays fits with what I do. We complement each other and we, and we tend to play off each other. So it's like I sing with my body and like, just like Dwayne, you don't play the drums with your fingers. You know what I mean? You ease into it. So, I mean, I love turning around and seeing a drummer who's smashing drums and like turn, it literally last, the last time we had practice <laughs> rehearsal just this week, he's holding a stick up at one point and I'm telling you, it looked like a beaver had gone at it. What he had left in his hand was essentially like a toothpicks. It was smashed. So it's like, I completely appreciate that. Like I looked over at him, I'm going right on Dwayne. That's what I'm thinking. If I get hit with a stick during a show, I'm okay with that. I don't have a problem with that, you know? <laughs> that's right. It's like, I'm thinking to myself, fuck, he hits hard. That's great. You know, that's exactly what you gotta do to play drums, I guess, in a, in a kind of band like Age of Wolves. This one's called My Love Ends All. It features Mr. Al Yeti Bones on lead vocals. Oh, yeah. And you didn't have the guitar tied to it. You know, that's part for the course of my business. It's almost like if the guitar was tied to it, it wouldn't have happened.
Tschüss.